Hey guys, photographer Patrick Jones back at it again. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Sony Alpha 99 Mark II's uh, custom dial settings one, two, and three. Now I shoot video and I shoot photography, so uh, what I try to do is take one, two, and three and leave them specifically for video since there are a lot more variables for me since I shoot manual like 99.9% .9 of the time. The other 0.91% of the time, 50% of that time, I am playing with the autofocus system for the A99 Mark II, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm falling more and more in love with it. So, uh, but ultimately I always still trust my own eye versus the camera's abilities. So that being said, uh, let's go ahead and talk about um, what settings I use one, two, and three for. Currently for one, I actually have it for my base like video stuff. So that's 4K, 30p, uh, 100 megabits a second, um, and I've got that for Super 35 crop. Uh, then you go to two, and that's actually um, slow motion. So slow motion's 120 frames a second, which is of course the HD mode, not the 4K mode. And then there's the three, and three is actually a, I haven't massively played with it mode. Uh, it is the time-lapse mode, but I've got it set for one frame a second. And of course, that is again gonna be HD. The megabits is actually 50 megabits a second, but it's still HD. So the AV, AV it's the XAVS HD mode. Um, so I'm not really sure why they wouldn't allow you to do it with the 4K mode since you're only shooting one frame a second. And uh, so yeah, it's a little confusing. However, um, I'm sure that at some point I'll be able to find the information for that, which I may put in the description. So that being said, those are the th reasons why I use those three modes and then my movie mode which I'm currently in and where you want to start in if you want to use uh, your one twos and threes for video mode um, but if you want to use it for photography mode you're gonna to want to start on M S A or P so so basically what I do is I start in video mode um, I dial in my settings everything I mean like if I'm ready to shoot right now and then I hit menu I go to Camera option number one, I scroll to page three, and I clicked where it says memory. From there, you'll see one, two, and three. From one, two, and three, you'll select the, the basically which one of these dial settings you wanna change. And from there, all you have to do is click the center button. After that's done, you're like, okay, cool, it did it. No, remember, you're in video mode. So from there, you'll have a screen that basically looks like this. And what you wanna do then is drag that over to one, and then you'll see the same screen. You're like, okay, what the heck? And then you'll press the center button, and that is it. So literally, if I go back to any mode for that matter, but I went back to video, see? And then if you drag back over to one, the settings will be updated to what they are right now, which I just messed up my settings for what they were. So um, so basically that should give you an idea and show you um, everything like my white balance is way off. So when I when I set up my one, twos and threes, I always keep my uh, them on auto white balance because that's a sort of a decision I wanna make on set. So auto white balance is there. And just in case I happen to forget, uh, it's always a good idea to leave it on auto white balance just it's a fail safe. The A99 Mark II is really good with its auto white balance between going from indoor and outdoor. So um, something you may wanna consider, um, something you, that may not work for you. Um, currently it's working for me. Um, so basically that's it. And oh, one of the big, big deals you may have to recognize up here is the M mode. Now you have to make sure that when you're setting up slow motion or fast motion, um, which we used to call over cranking and under cranking, that it says S and P M. And so it's, you have to make sure that when you set in, cause I actually did that and I was like, oh cool, I'm all set up. And I'm like, wait, that wasn't the right setting. And so I had to go reshoot the project, which was very simple. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. So take a look at the settings as I go through this. Um, and I hope that you can just watch it back and then figure it out. Like I said, it's so easy and it's gonna save you a lot of time when you get to variable setup situations, whether it be for me for time lapses, uh, slow motion shots, I mean, duh, who doesn't like that, right? 
and then of course your standard video shooting all the way. So um, also what I will say is, is setting up the function menu um, does, uh, if you set up your function menu first and kind of customize that to the way you want it and need it, um, when you go to set this up, it will be a lot easier than having to go through everything and manually do it. So trust me, set up your functions menu first um, and from there then head over and change your uh, custom settings one, two, and three. Uh, any questions or I haven't covered anything, go ahead and leave a comment below. I hope this helped you. It totally helped me reading the, the manual and over and over again to, to make sure that I know um, all this information. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm photographer Patrick Jones. See you later.